All right, so here's how to set up a Google Analytics account. If it's the first time going to Google Analytics, you go to analytics.google.com. You'll be presented with a login page. They don't even give you an informational page anymore. So you sign in with your awesome analytics account, whatever that might be. Did I guess right? I did. Let me keep going there. Now we're here, this is the first thing you'll see. Start analyzing your traffic in three easy steps. Yay, so we hit sign up. So now you're creating a real account for to be used on a website. So if this is a client site, then you type in the client's name here. Um, yeah, I go ahead and leave those checked. I'm fine sharing my life with all of the Google people. Hit next, which one it is. Web is usually what this is for our uses, but sometimes it will be different ones. Um, type in the name of the website again. Now here you want to make sure you select the right HTTPS and then the appropriate domain goes here. Choose the industry which can be a lot of different things on this one. It is, we'll just go with that. That's the time zone. Hit create. Agree to the options here. Hit accept. And the app is pretty dope if you want to use the app for reviewing later but we're not going to do that in this one. So now you have a UA code now or a few different ways to connect it from here. Um, copy this, put it into your code, copy this, put it into your plugin. The plugin we actually use um, is called Monster Insights. So I'll go ahead and show you how to set that up. Log in, enable the plugin. Love Monster Insights for a lot of reasons. Definitely recommend it. Hit activate. It's gonna automatically take you into this wizard. This is a e-commerce site. We need our license key, which I will grab over here. You have to cut that out, but click connect after that. Connect it to the account that you're using for your analytics. Hit allow. Then choose it from the drop down. Complete connection. It's going to double check and make sure everything's all good. Then it's going to load, give you the option to load some additional settings. The defaults are fine, although I do like to turn on the automatic updates because I'm an update guy. Some people are not like that. Um, we'll go over these in a little bit, but we will turn on some of those. Save and continue. Don't want to install the WP forums because we use Gravity forums, which they do support. They just make some money if I actually use WP forums, so they're trying to get me to use it. And that's it. Finish and set up wizard. Google Analytics is now connected to the site. Life is good. There's that same UA that was over here. Let's see, it matches up. They grabbed that for us. And we are off to the races. The last part I forgot to mention was adding another user to the account. So once you're all set up, you can see over here on your sidebar, you've got all these different things. You'll notice you have to expand it um, natively. It comes like that. So you can expand to different views here. Go down to the admin section on the account level. So there's three levels, account property view. On the account level under user management, you're going to add a new user. person is that you want to add. Boom, it knows who I am, I grab the right person, and I want all the permissions, and hit add. That is the last step.